Well, I've been uh, waiting to record this video and I can finally record it. Guys, I, I saw this comment maybe in my last one of these videos, you know, where I do the little story time video of that one photo I took of myself probably before Thanksgiving. And I think I'm just going to put that photo in every one of my story time videos just so it's easier for people to see because I do upload a lot of content. So if you're looking for just the story time videos, look for the photo, you know, where I'm just looking completely dazed and depressed. I'll just throw that in the thumbnail of every single video so you'll know which one is the story time videos. But guys, I've been meaning to record this. I finally, I had to wait for a window to actually be able to talk about this. But yes, uh, we did have Christmas Eve and I thought it was going to be, you know, just your standard NPC thing. You'd get through it. Christmas Eve is actually when we have all of our family together, I believe, or it's like by far the most. Normally, my family, we only come together as like a huge group, I think twice a year now. We used to also do Easter. We don't do that anymore. It's normally just Thanksgiving and Christmas, and Thanksgiving is only partial. So Christmas, you know, my inner family hosts it, so it's at my house, or I mean, technically, it's not going to be my house for long when I move, but right now it is still my house. So, you know, when you host a holiday or an event like that, a family event, it's always positive because I can always just go upstairs, do a little cool down, you know, not have to deal with things. And this Christmas Eve, I, I was saying it feels like the past four or five straight Christmas Eves have had like a full slate of NFL games. I don't know how it keeps working out where it's like every single Christmas Eve, there's a bunch of NFL games on, but it is kind of a blessing because people are distracted by it. You really don't have to, you know, worry about a ton of conversation, but at Christmas Eve, of course, it gets just very cringy, very awkward. There's all these games. That's whatever. I really don't have a problem with the games, but about halfway through, you know, the, the family started coming over around noon, maybe 1230. And I remember we had the Browns game on, the Browns-Texans game. And the Browns scored really early. Everyone started coming over around noon. So it was like an hour. We had to just talk and then the game started. The Browns scored like two minutes into the game. And I remember looking at the game and it said 13 minutes left in the first quarter. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh, this is going to be a long day. This is going to be a long day. But, it, you know, you'd go through the games. It was probably like 4 or 5. No, it was probably like 3.30. You know, I was standing in the kitchen. And I think it was my aunt or someone. They were like, your cousin's downstairs and he needs a spotter. And I immediately knew who they were talking about. And we have like this workout area in the basement. It rarely gets used. I don't work out anymore. I never worked out in our basement just because, I don't know, it just it, it's just hard to work out down there. But I couldn't even make it halfway down the steps. And I see this dude bench pressing two 55-pound dumbbells. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And I, and I come down there and th this is kind of one of our wilder cousins, you know. He's known for walking to Florida he, he was in the military. He's an interesting dude. So I come down there. He like needed a spot or something. I got a weight off for him. I actually started lifting a little bit. It was the first time I had picked up a dumbbell in a, quite a few months, but it was kind of fun, honestly. But the dude ends up discussing my YouTube channel, guys. And this has always been something very, very awkward for me. It's like, do you tell IRL people about your YouTube channel? So I employed the strategy to not tell a single person about my YouTube channel. And I thought, honestly, unless I had like a million subscribers, it really wouldn't be a problem. Now, the first person to know about this YouTube channel, because I had a previous YouTube channel, and I believe, I don't know if I told anyone about, I don't even think I told anyone about that, but people found out about that, although that had like three or 4,000 subscribers, it's whatever, and then I deleted it. So this newer one, Number one, if you're tr if you know my government name and you're trying to find my channel, it's virtually impossible because the name of my channel is just so random. You're never gonna search for it. There's no, it's not like it's attached. The only thing I guess you could say, and I was talking to someone about this, is maybe if you go through my Twitter or X or whatever the hell you want to call it, that account, if you like search my name, it, it might come up and there might be a link. But still, it's just it's very hard. Long story short, I didn't tell my mom, my immediate family, anyone. I believe my mom was the first person to find out about my new channel, and it was a really strange situation. It was actually through a second channel that I had created called DG2. 
I think I just ended up abandoning that channel, but she found out maybe like, th this might have been like before Thanksgiving of last year of 2022, so she's known about my new my channel for a while, but I, I didn't tell her, I did not say, oh, I have this channel, go look at it, she just found out somehow, uh, and then my brother found out, I don't know when he found out, but probably, you know, after it at some point, but really no one in my family, I don't think, knows about my channel and so we're downstairs, the dude's literally lifting, we're getting a workout in mid-Christmas Eve party, whatever you want to call it, and the dude starts badgering me about my channel, and I'm trying to tell him, I'm like, dude, I don't like telling people IRL, or I don't even think I told him that, I was just talking to him, trying to defuse the situation, like, listen, let's not do this with my channel, the last thing I need is my cousin pulling up my YouTube videos, you know, it's just, it's just at a family event, you know how awkward that is, guys, so I just tried to defuse it. And then I think my two younger cousins, we all went upstairs. There was like four of us down there, but two of the kids were very, were very small and we were kind of just working out. I don't even know why, but we ended up going upstairs and I just, this was like towards the end of the party or whatever. It was like winding down. It's like five o'clock. I ended up just going into my room and I was overhearing it and the dude was badgering like my mom about my channel trying to find it and she didn't even tell him. It's just so awkward, man. I'm upstairs hiding in my room. I overhear this. It's like, what is this channel? What is this channel? My mom ends up not saying. So I go downstairs and I realize I'm going to have to talk to him again about this. And listen, I give him credit. He's like the only family member that even knows I have a YouTube channel. But I was in my laundry room. And I was trying to like lead him outside and it was a slow process, but I was kind of like slowly walking outside and he was telling me about his channel and how he couldn't, I guess, live stream videos because you need, I don't know how many subscribers you need to live stream videos. It might be like 500 or something, but I believe he does motivational content. And honestly, I was, I was, I was going to tell him like, dude, there's a, there is definitely a niche for motivational videos, but you have to look at other people that are successful in your space and just copy them. That's literally what YouTube is. He was telling me he uploads these hour long videos. I'm like that. You're not going to want to go about it that way. Uh, but either way, I, I ended up leading him outside. I think I was taking out the trash or something. And I, I was just like, listen, man, I don't, you know, I don't tell people IRL about my channel. It's very awkward, things like that. And I don't know. This is just such a funny moment. I don't know if Surrey was on his phone. You know how you sometimes like, like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell everyone. This is what he did when I was in the, the laundry room. He brought up the YouTube app, you know, when you, you go on YouTube, the search bar, and he just put it in my face. He's like, search your name. And I'm like, dude, it, it's just so awkward, man. You know, I don't want to do this. Uh, but I guess Surrey somehow, he had maybe butt dialed Surrey or something. And he at, at the end of our conversation, he was like, I will find you. And then Surrey said something like, I found this for you. You know, you know how that works. And, and then, and then he got, he was really happy about that. He was like, see, <laughs> But no, I give him credit. If, if if he finds this video and he comments, I will pin his comment. That's that's what I'll do. I highly doubt he'll be able to find my channel be, again because I don't think my government name is really attached to it. But guys, just in general, when it comes to like me telling people about my channel, it's it's just something I've never liked doing. At some point, obviously, people are gonna find out. I thought it was gonna happen. You know, if, if I if I ever reached like a few hundred thousand subs, but I have had people come up to me and say. You know, they found my channel, things like that. It's, I, I don't really know how to react to it. How do you guys think I should react to it? Like, like, should I be proud of it? Should I be like, oh, this is awkward? It's just, I don't know, it's something weird. And then the other thing, I guess this is the relatable content when it comes to Christmas time. Other people have been saying this, and it's funny to see like younger people, almost like younger versions of myself say this. They're like, they're like 20, they're like 20 or 21 years old. Oh, it doesn't feel like Christmas anymore. Yeah, you know what, brother? Get used to it. Now, I was live streaming yesterday and somebody mentioned that it doesn't feel like Christmas. And it's like, man, that that was me four or five years ago. Once you turn a certain age and if your life is not going in the right place and you're lonely, Christmas inevitably is going to get worse just because you're older. You're going to get less gifts. You're going to want less stuff. You don't want to be a burden. And it just, the, the, the whole Christmas spirit, all of it completely disappears as you get older, no matter what, but especially if you're lonely, if you, you know, like you're alone. So that's just another thing I noticed people talk to me about, but yeah, dude, of course, get used to it. As you get older, 
I mean, unless you get a girl, um, unless you, you know, create a family, it's only going to get worse. Maybe you've got a bunch of friends, family, especially for people who are alone. And, and honestly, that's where I might be headed, especially if I end up moving. Although I don't know, I don't know if I would go back home for Christmas and the holidays. Cause that's what people do. If I move, it, it would be a long plane trip. I'll tell you that, you know, dude, that's gotta be, imagine waking up on Christmas Eve and you're just not doing anything. I mean, that's got, you, you've, you've, you've hit rock bottom, you know, you've hit, and I, and I, people have messaged me saying that's happened to them and, and it's just like, Jesus, Thanksgiving, same thing. Uh, but either way, guys, that was just my Christmas Eve. So it was, it was, it was what it was. I ended up winning this game. I probably should have just lost it on purpose. I had to hand out all of these gifts, but listen, I give my cousin credit. I don't know how he realized I have a channel, but it's like, he knew I had a channel, but he didn't know my channel name. So I don't know, but maybe other people do know I have a channel. It's just the whole thing is very awkward. You, if you're a YouTuber, you can relate to it. Obviously, if I had like a million subscribers, I would be fine with anyone knowing my channel because guys, this is something I said in an, maybe it was an earlier video of, you know, the stories series where I go through stories, but at a certain point, the society accepts you as a YouTuber of having a real job, but you have to reach a certain success level, a certain status. You know, you've got to have like 500,000 subscribers. If you have that, you become cool. And all of your videos, it's like, oh, dude, you're cool. You're a star. But until you reach that, YouTube is this very just cringy thing where it's like, you know, you're a loser. You're an influencer. That's. I also got that. People are like, oh, you're an influencer. And it's just like, dude, I, I, what am I influencing? I'm not an influencer. I just upload videos. That's it. And it's something, I mean, I've uploaded 3,000 videos or something probably in my career. I know in my channel, it says I've had like 2,500, but... I'm sure in my career with my other channel, it's been over 3,000. Like, that's all I do. I just upload videos and talk. So, you know, it, it, like trying to explain your job is something. But at this point, I've kind of given it up. When people ask me what I do, I just say, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. You know, that that's pretty much all I can say at this point. And people are going to form their own opinions. It is what it is. But guys, I just want to talk about my little Christmas Eve and really the holidays. And I'll probably do a channel recap of my 2023 year in a video, probably tomorrow, because I am very meticulous. Like if I'm doing a recap for 2023, I want the video to come out on the last day of 2023, just because it looks cool when you know, you go, you have your title, it says recap, and then you look at the date and it says the 31st. I don't know. I just think it likes, it looks kind of sweet. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow, talking about my channel, talking about the future of it and, uh, you know, continuing these story time videos. But either way, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Make sure you follow me on X link to that's always in the description.